Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have successfully trained our model. And on the training data set, we have accuracy is equal to 81.28%. In this tutorial, we will evaluate and make predictions. Let us begin. First, we will evaluate the model performance. Define two variables here test underscore loss and test underscore accuracy. Then model dot evaluate in parentheses we have to specify two arguments x test and y test. Now execute. It will take little bit time. Let us see the result. Okay, it is not showing here. We will print the accuracy. Print test accuracy is then empty curly brackets dot format method and in parentheses test underscore accuracy run this cell great we have test accuracy is equal to 74.29 which is pretty good we can improve the test accuracy also to do that we can change number of epochs while training the model we can change the dropout percentage also and the combination of these all layers as of now we have test accuracy is equal to 74.29 let us make the predictions Predictions define a variable y underscore pred is equal to model dot predict underscore classes and in parentheses x test run this cell. It will also take little bit time to execute. Great. So here in y underscore pred we have predicted values and we have predicted these values on x underscore test. So here in y pred we have predicted values and we have predicted these values on x underscore test that is on test data. We can make individual predictions also. Let us see how print y pred enter the index location here I will enter 10 then print again y test enter same index location 10 run so our predicted value is 4 and real value is 0 so this is a wrong prediction let us try one more time now enter 100 index location 100 execute again again we have wrong prediction here our predicted value is 2 and real value is 4 let us try one more time index 101 great this time we have right prediction our predicted value is 5 and the real value is also 5 let us try last time index 0 index 0 execute 3 3 this time also we got the right prediction so this way we can make the individual predictions add one more step here that is the confusion matrix
first we have to import the libraries from sklearn dot matrix import confusion matrix and accuracy score then define an object cm confusion matrix y test y prayed after that print the confusion matrix now run this cell great so this is our confusion matrix the diagonal values are the right predicted values and all other values are the wrong predicted values when we see from above then these are the predicted values and when we see from the right side then these are the actual values the predicted values versus actual values let us check the accuracy on the basis of that confusion matrix define an object accuracy of the confusion matrix we are defining this object of this class accuracy score y test comma y prayed print accuracy score accuracy score on the basis of confusion matrix now run this cell great so we have test accuracy is equal to 74.3 and this accuracy is on the basis of confusion matrix this one and previously our accuracy is also same 74.29 so these are the two ways to check the accuracy this is the first way by using this method dot evaluate method and this is the second way to check the accuracy using confusion matrix so this tutorial about model evaluation and prediction ends here let us revise what we have learned in this tutorial first we have evaluated the model performance to do that we have used this method dot evaluate method after that we have made individual predictions and we have made these individual predictions on the basis of index locations after that we have drawn the confusion matrix and the accuracy so this tutorial about the model evaluation and prediction ends here i will see you in the next one till then happy learning